Hi there again. Yeah, you can see the background. I'm on a BC ferry and I'm recording a number of these all in a row as I'm coming back from having worked in Vancouver for a few days. Um, and yeah, I, I will spend several days thinking about things and then finding the various different bits and topics and um, recording them all at once and um, then sharing them out over time. Anyway, one of the things I want to talk about is what depression really causes with me is a total sense of failure and incompetency, an inability to cope with the world and seeing all these lost opportunities, missed opportunities, missed chances, um, feeling a sense of things having gone wrong and shame at that, guilt at that, and realizing I'm missing out on things. Um, like if things hadn't gone as, as wrong as they'd gone, there's places that I'd like to visit regularly just because they're important to me. But instead, they just sort of continue on, and I'm missing them, and I'm feeling distant from important places in my life. And it all comes from the, the shame and guilt of the failure that is so deeply the heart of so much of depression is a sense of failure. And it's because, why can't you just, you know, cheer up? What's wrong with you? Why can't you just be happy? It's a great, beautiful, sunny day. Go outside and just be happy. Well, you can't do that. If you can't do that, that's the beginning of a sense of failure. And then things go wrong with work, things go wrong with your life, and the sense of failure just builds and builds and builds and causes stress. And that's how my life has been going. And I need to break out of that. I need to accept that I am who I am and whatever I manage is what I manage and completely divorce myself from the concept of failure, at least for now. And only accept failure if it is something that truly is something that could be called a failure, not accept my depression as being some form of moral failure of myself. And that sort of is often how it feels at its core. Alright, that's it for now.